Welcome, graduands, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Please rise for the entrance of the academic and official processions.
Esta es buena. Otiutiukiraroraki Engarangatira, o fakafai tine, enga puke nga nui, enga puke nga rua, i tuo tea a kua kitea tea, kua kitea a tea. A nga tonu rā ko ngā maa pe i pe i ana ko koutou te kaua puni puni tanga, o ngā waituku ngā kiri ko koutou ke tērā te unga, kua riro, kua riro i ngā taonga kui maa koro ma tēne ka mihiaki. Ki ngā whānau nui, ki ngā whānau rua, moana nui a kiwa mai, te moana tā poko poko a tā whaki, he ke tonu mai rā koutou ki te moana o rau kawa kawa e mihi nei e tangi nei kia koutou. A re tonu rā ngā mihi ki ngā itua nui o te wā, koutou ngā tini mano mano a kua ki te a. Ngā whetu o te rangi ki te wahinga rotu a te a te tangata hara mai rā koutou. Ngā mate kia tangi hia kia mihi ai te wao te kore. O ki anu rā ki ngā, ki ngā kānui hi ora o tātou i te rangi nei, he ngā whānau maha putanu i te motu, putanu i te ao, i pūrangi mai ko utau, whakapiripiri mai ki ngā kōrero, ko tūguna nei i tēnei wā. O te iau nō rā, a mihi a kera kia ko utau, wa whakapōtai ngia i te tohu, Kua rangatira te tū, i nei a nei, ko koutou te ao, ko apoko. E wakatau ki kōrero tēnei, ki koutou, whae a te iti kahurangi, ki te tū ohu koe, mehe maunga teite. Wakarara koutou o koutou mahi kia ki te, a whānui te ao, kia rongo i te ao, te motu, kia rongo a iwi take take mai, Ngā kōrero a kui mā, a koro mā, kei te kapu o tō ringa, ko te reo, ko te kapu o tō ringa, ko te ao, e haere ake nei, e haere ake nei, e haere ake nei. E kōrero tēne o te hau kāingo te atia wa nōrunga i te rangi, a tarana ki whānui, a ngā titoa rangatira, a ngā tirau kaua ki te tonga, a reirunga i te arawhanaunga, Ka pō atu, te ara mataraura, kia ki te whānui tia, te pua waetanga o ngā taonga, kua whiwhia, kua rauea, tēnei taonga, haria ki te hau. Nō reira, kia waihora ngā kupu kōrero i konei, hei aku iti, hei aku rahi, hei ngā hau e whao te motu, mai te whare rama, ana, ki te reira ngā wairua, te tae toke rau, ara mai. A re tonu rā, ki te uranga mai o te rā, a ki te atu, o te tai rā whiti, ara mai, ki te whanganui a tara. Ko piko piko taku haere ki te, te waka a Māui, ki te wai paunamu, ki muri whenua, ana, ki raki ura, ware kauri, ara mai, ki te whanganui a tara. Ko ki anō rā, ki te tai hau wāru, ki a matua te tapu, ki te kāhui maunga, ki tangaroa, Ki ngā pai maunga, tongariro, ngā rūhoi, rua pehu te maunga, kōrero, a nei te kāhui maunga i mihi nei, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, kā tiki anō tātou katoa. E ngā iwi o te motu nei, e rau kura rā tēnei, e titia nei e te ati awa. Te iti, te rahi, te katoa E ngā iwi o te motu nei Noho 
Warm greetings to you all here, gathered here for this very special occasion. I declare this congregation to be in session. Please could everybody stand as we start our proceedings today with our University Waiata. seated. Ko te rā teia i ākono i Jehova e ki a reke reka tātou e ki a pere pere kāvana. E tangi tonu ana ki ngā mate o te wā, haere koutou e moe. Ki a tātou ngā mahue tanga e ngā kānuhi ora e pai nei tēnā koutou katoa. Te ati awa Kei ngā kaipupuri i te mauri o tēnei whenua, tēnā koutou. Kei ngā whānau o ngā tauira, kua tai mai i tā whiti, kua tai mai i tāta, tēnā hoki koutou. Nau mai ki te kūnenga ki Purehūroa ki Pokeahu, ki tēnei whakapotaitanga e whakanui ana i ngā ihu puta. Ki a koutou i ngā tauira, kua tutuki, Kua ea, huro. Acting Vice-Chancellor, members of the Massey University Council, the university community, the Pukiahu Campus Graduation Committee, distinguished guests, graduands and families. My name is Karen Rangi and today I'm Acting Chancellor of the Massey University Council and it's a great privilege to be presiding over today's graduation ceremonies and conferring qualifications to the successful students that sit before us all. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you all to the final of three ceremonies taking place in Pōneke this week. I'd also like to express gratitude to all those who have continued and contributed to continue to the running of these ceremonies, enabling us to come together to celebrate such remarkable accomplishments. For close to a century now, Massey has played a pivotal role in shaping the economic and cultural landscape of Aotearoa New Zealand. 
a steadfast dedication to teaching and research has allowed the university to stand at the forefront of innovation, address the big questions and challenges facing our society, and uncover the solutions and knowledge necessary to effect meaningful change. Our students, our toida, lie at the heart of this driving force. Your contributions are integral to our collective efforts to create a positive impact. It is an honour felt by the Massey cohort on this stage and across the mutu to have played a role in nurturing the bright minds who sit in this room. Through our students' aspirations, their vision for tomorrow, we reach further and do more to contribute to the prosperity of Aotearoa New Zealand and beyond. So congratulations to you all for reaching such a significant milestone as we celebrate your success today. This week, Massey University is awarding qualifications to a total of 742 graduates. And at today's ceremony, a total of 332 graduates will cross the stage and a further 24 in absentia students will have their qualifications conferred. That's a lot of handshakes. Today is a celebration, but also a culmination of years of hard work, dedication, perseverance, and maybe just a little procrastination. It's a testament to your academic success, but also recognition of the path you have taken to get here, and all those who have walked alongside you on this journey, as none of us walk alone. For those of you in the audience who are here today to celebrate the success of your loved ones, I encourage you, do not hold back. Be loud in your love and make your pride of their accomplishments be heard. To those of you who are about to cross the stage, enjoy the moment. You've worked hard for it, you've earned it. Reflect on all you've learned here, all the challenges you've faced, and the triumphs you've experienced along the way. All those moments have led to this, and that momentum will continue to propel you forward into your next adventure. I am honoured to welcome you to the Massey Alumni Fano. Congratulations on making it here where the rest of your journey begins. Carry all that you have learned forward with you and continue to do wonderful things. From here on out, you are forever part of the Massey University legacy and we wish you only the utmost success in your future. All the best, congratulations. By the authority of the Council of Massey University, I, Karen Rungi, Acting Chancellor, will now present the certificates, diplomas, and degrees on those to be presented and on those in absentia. And today we have Dr. Beth Mallard and Christine Rosevier, lecturers for the School of Health Sciences, who will now present graduates and recipients of certificates and diplomas for the College of Health. Professor Jill McCutcheon, Pro Vice-Chancellor, College of Health, will hand out the certificates. Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Health Science, the graduands I'm about to name. Morgan Lucy Baker. Rebecca Judy Byrne. Helga Hosevitz Scott. Annabelle Jane Rowe. Megan Jody Smith.
Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Nursing, the graduands I'm about to name. Phoebe Rachel Aldridge. <laughs> Ted C. Reed Ong. <laughs> Zoe Elizabeth McLaren Bagnall. Jasmine Verity Batley. <laughs> Hannah Ray Bryant. <laughs> Robert Morgan Chambers. <laughs> Sophia Lan Cheney. Carrigan Jamie Collier. Harriet Cheney Cook. Anna Carolina De Silva. Elizabeth Kate Davis. Emma Rose Donaldson. <laughs> Rokura Katerina Tewanui Drake. <laughs> Andrew Joseph Duncan. <laughs> Grace Ann Elliott. Olivia Grace Elton. <laughs> Caitlin Rosa Flanagan. <laughs> Sophia Jean Focus. <laughs> Mila Elizabeth Gibson. Alice Lily Gillen Sutton. <laughs> Alice Rose Gordon. <laughs> Macy Eleanor Gregory. <laughs> Eleanor Jessie Grigg, Massey Scholar. Ellen Marie Halfacre. <laughs> Molly Bostock Hamilton. <laughs> Olivia Grace Hanna. <laughs> Honey May Harrison. George Matthew Heath. <laughs> Gabriella Rosa Hennessy. <laughs> Benjamin James Hayward. <laughs> Joseph Christian Hicklin. Oliver James Higgison. <laughs> Natalie Lynn Hiddy. <laughs> K. 
Catherine Ann Ingold. Stella Pearl Jennison. Eli Jack Matthew Jones. Emma Grace Joss. Athena Natalia Kapralos, Messi Scholar. Lily Jean Ladd. Babette Latigan. Neve Elizabeth Lawrence. Hannah Louise Ann Leach. Tenniel Niambra Minor. Sean Louise Mir, Messi Scholar. Imogen Sophia Marsden. Katie Ann McGiven. Eva Marie McLennan. Emma Grace McManaway. Thank you, Acting Chancellor. Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to continue to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Nursing the graduands I am about to name. Brooke Evelyn McPherson. <laughs> Samia Todese McConnan. Meredith Emily Metcalf. Larissa Grace Moores. Roisin Tara Mullahan. Anya Valerievna Mycena. April Elizabeth Natras. Sarah Elizabeth Naylor. Dia Negi. Wendy O. Shivani Dora Pabu. Mika Pontichos. Yasmin Francis Prescott. Talia Joanna. Pridachina. <laughs> Ruby Serveta Joanne Ripley. <laughs> Victoria Joanne Ripley.
Victoria Jane Roll. Inoua Ashraf Saleh. Casey Jean Seacup. Monica Shuani Shukla. Ashley Jane Small. Carolina Stephanie Soto Verdejo. Chelsea Jean Steer. Vic Silo Stephen. Abby Lorene Summerscales. Naya Tracy Taufale. <laughs> Hamish Peter Terry. <laughs> Danish Gubachan Burma. <laughs> Kate. Louise Vernal. Tessa Lynn Warburton. Lily Isabel Warrior, Messy Scholar. Isabella Lily Valgre. Watson, Messy Scholar. <laughs> Ashley Rose Webb. <laughs> Ella Rose White Shanahan. <laughs> Zoe Olivia Williams Verhey. Bronte Neve Wilson. <laughs> Devon Eleanor Wilson. <laughs> Elizabeth Nyawira Wilson. Samantha Mary Windsor. Paige Marie Clark Wright. Maya Rose Uard. Philip Beresford Wilson. Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for the Graduate Diploma in Environmental Health the candidates I'm about to name. Deepal Mansuk Banane, with distinction. <laughs> Ashwin Divaka Rane.
Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Sport and Exercise, the graduand I am about to name, Philip Beresford Wilson. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for the Postgraduate Diploma in Health Science, the candidates I am about to name. Ramela Ayungo Eng. <laughs> Dina May Jepse Azakon. <laughs> Jake Andrew Barnett. Sarah Louise Bilietsky. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for the postgraduate diploma in nursing the candidate I am about to name, Susan Cartmel. Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for the Postgraduate Diploma in Public Health, the candidate I am about to name, Daniel Rowellan Catamol. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for the graduation in the degree of Master of Applied Social Work, the graduands I am about to name, Kendra Eleanor Fenton. Hannah Suzanne Gorman. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for the graduate, graduation in the degree of Master of Health Science, the graduand I'm about to name, Theresa May Shaler. Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Nursing, the graduands I'm about to name. Kelly Ann Bryder. <laughs> Jessica Marie Goodman. <laughs> Emma Catherine Nikolayenko. Emma Louise Pendleton. <laughs> Rebecca Joyce Perry. <laughs> Zhang Jian. Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Public Health, the graduands I am about to name, Christina Marie Kurd. <laughs> Hema Amelia Redondo de la Morena. First class honours. Thank you, Acting Chancellor. <coughs> Let me just check my notes. So, 
Dr Tony Fisher, Director of Teaching and Learning from the School of Humanities and Media and Creative Communication, will now present graduates and recipients of certificates and diplomas in the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Professor Cynthia White, Pro Vice-Chancellor, College of Humanities and Social Sciences, will hand out the certificates. Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for the Certificate of Arts the candidates I am about to name. Nadia Danielle Foskett. <laughs> Richard Jonathan Williams. Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Arts the graduates I am about to name. Anne Anna Elizabeth Bowman. <laughs> Malinaya Cruz Pena. Helen Elizabeth Davis. <laughs> Kiri Joy Nakina Davis. Aspen Rene Fell. <laughs> Bethany Michelle Fern. <laughs> Danielle George Galbraith. Sherry Victoria Gibson. Shanti Anna Hamilton. Nicole Donna Harris. Eleanor Ruth Harrison. Sarah Louise Jags. Christina Dawn Jenkins. Amy Elizabeth Kerr. <laughs> Julie Ann Leverage, Massey Scholar. Sarah Louise Lindsay. Anna Francesca Morrison Hill. <laughs> Chelsea Kathleen Mosen. <laughs> Joanne Marie Neal. Lisa Joy Noble. <laughs> Ms. 
Tina Pioneer Grace Okedoa. Tracy Nicola Peters. Deirdre Danielle Peterson. <laughs> Margaret Mary Ricketts. <laughs> Georgia Margaret Gushleg Rauch. Michelle Scott. <laughs> Hannah Mary Tarpley. <laughs> Samantha Mackenzie Waite. Acting Vice-Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of the Bachelor of Communication, the graduates I am about to name. Bridget Garland Barter. <laughs> Dylan Sean Brannigan. Samantha Olive Carter, Massey Scholar. Grace Louise Drisdale Dunn, Massey Scholar. Annalida Janika Pieta Yeager. Kenisha Shriya. <laughs> Caitlin Rose Radford. <laughs> Roman Julius Ratcliffe. Megan Jane Rossiter. Charlie Elizabeth Porteous Walker. George Heathcote Wilson. Ying Ying Zhang. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the Graduate Certificate in Emergency Management the candidate I'm about to name. Kenzie Page Hamilton. Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the Graduate Diploma in Arts the candidates I'm about to name. Liam Peter Shanahan. <laughs> Jennifer Mary White. <laughs> Ali
Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for the Graduate Diploma in Learning and Teaching the candidates I am about to name. James David Gibson. Colleen Roller-Roche. Aidan Imogen Charlotte Verity. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the Postgraduate Certificate in International Security the candidate I'm about to name. How you Tsai. Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the Postgraduate Certificate in Specialist Teaching the candidate I'm about to name, Sardana Walsh. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the Postgraduate Diploma in Arts the candidates I'm about to name, Alistair John Frank Collo. Alison Carol Reed. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the postgraduate diploma in education the candidates I am about to name. Olivia Beth McCulloch. Elizabeth Ann Roberts with distinction. <laughs> Emma Jane Voicy. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the postgraduate diploma in specialist teaching the candidates I'm about to name. Philippa Jane Broderick. Lee Annette Bourne. <laughs> Vanessa Mary Burton with distinction. <laughs> Jade Shiri Helen Demansa with distinction. Leave Timon Hansen with distinction. Lisa Jane Stratford with distinction. Megan Eve Murray Walters. Christine Ann Z with distinction. Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Arts, the graduands I'm about to name. Tapunga Jeremiah Nepe. Grant Campbell Pegler. <laughs> Soknarin Pear. <laughs> Shirley Mary Simmons with distinction.
Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Clinical Psychology the graduand I'm about to name. Kieran Eric McCormick. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Counselling Studies the graduands I'm about to name. Rosa Marie Antunovic. C. Young Jacob Bank. Sarah K. Belinda Doherty. Catherine Ann Finley. Nicole Marie Hampton. <laughs> Catherine Helen Harrington. <laughs> Tabitha Phillips. Leah Maria Rahui. <laughs> Shana Jeannie Louise Valente. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Creative Writing, the graduands I am about to name. Peter Carey with distinction. <laughs> Palas Hupe Kota. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Education the graduands I'm about to name. Kirsten Lee Bassett. <laughs> Donna Bronwyn Berry with distinction. Minaini Maramathuma. <laughs> Agnes Clarissa Abundo Castro. <laughs> Louise Elizabeth Hyde, with distinction. Charlene Francis Maddox. <laughs> Geraldine Manuel with distinction. <laughs> Stacy Mary Rowe with distinction. Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Educational and Developmental Psychology, the graduands I'm about to name. Emma Joanne Harper, First Class Honors. <laughs> Elizabeth Donacci Lee.
Georgia Rose Moore, First Class Honours. Rachel Jean Paulson, First Class Honours. Jesse Nayo Trevella, First Class Honours. Karen Lee Wellington, First Class Honours. Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Emergency Management, the graduates I am about to name. Paul Ian Renshaw, with distinction. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of International Security, the graduates I'm about to name. Salamasina Fetuani. <laughs> Gareth John Mason. <laughs> Lauren Kathleen McCarthy with distinction. Katie Rose Porteous. <laughs> Catherine Louise Saxton. <laughs> Stephen James Sutherland. Stephen Peter Taylor with distinction. <laughs> Jeffrey James Whitty with distinction. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Resource and Environmental Planning, the graduates I'm about to name. Clinton John Betteridge, First Class Honours. <laughs> Emma Louisa Hunter. <laughs> Amber Rose Smith, First Class Honours. Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Specialist Teaching, the graduates I'm about to name. Rebecca Derny Antipas, with distinction. <laughs> Vicky Ann Barnes, with distinction. Catherine Jane Barry, with distinction. <laughs> Yvonne Ann Bieleski, with distinction. <laughs> Karen, Karen Dawn Crawford. Katrina Maureen Lee.
Michelle Elizabeth Lees. Emma Louise Millet with distinction. Julie Christina Nugent with distinction. Emily Jane Phillips with distinction. Olivia Jane Rosbisky with distinction. Nadine Elizabeth Sickles with distinction. Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Sustainable Development Goals, the graduate I'm about to name, Madison Louise Kay. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for the postgraduate diploma in Educational and Developmental Psychology, the candidate I'm about to name. Nicole Colleen Johnson, with distinction. Thank you, Acting Chancellor. It's now my great pleasure to invite, actually, back to the stage, Paul Renshaw to address the graduates. So Paul works for the National Emergency Management Agency in the position of team leader planning and is responsible for delivering the national level catastrophic planning program for the emergency management system. Prior to this, Paul was a regional emergency management advisor with NEMA and deployed forward into regions during emergency events with multiple severe weather responses to Tairawhiti and the West Coast. Paul was deployed to Auckland during the 2023 Auckland flood response and to Hawke's Bay prior to Cyclone uh, Gabriel impacting the region, remaining in Hawke's Bay for the duration of the response. Before joining NEMA, Paul served in the Royal New Zealand Air Force as a logistician, Specialised in operational planning and air movements, reaching the rank of warrant officer. He was deployed to Antarctica twice for six months, conducted multiple operational tours to the Middle East, including Kyrgyzstan, Afghanistan and Iraq, and planned and conducted various humanitarian relief missions across the Pacific Islands. Paul has been awarded multiple operational military decorations, which include the Australian Defence Force Joint Operations Command Silver Commemoration Award, and the United States Air Force Meritorious Service Medal. While serving with the New Zealand Defence Force, <coughs> Paul began his tertiary journey with a Certificate of Emergency Management with the Massey University Whānau. This led to the postgrad Diploma in Emergency Management and the Master of Emergency Management qualification. Paul has also completed the Response and Recovery Leadership Development Programme in partnership with Massey University and is a certified member of the Business Continuity Institute. Please welcome Paul Renshaw to the stage. Thank you, Chancellor. Inga we fa, tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā koto katoa. E mihi ana ki te rangi, e mihi ana ki te whenua. E mihi ana ki te whare. E mihi ana ki nga maonga, mina wai i horapa, nei tenei roha a tāhua o tātou. Tēnā tātou katoa. Ko porencho toko ingoa. Graduates of Massey University, whānau and friends. Acting Chancellor Karen Rangi, 
Acting Vice-Chancellor, Professor Giselle Burns. The magnificent Mass University Council members, senior leadership team, and members of staff on this stage. And of course, those watching the live stream, and I would also like to acknowledge our peers who have graduated in absentia. Kia ora. Thank you for the privilege of addressing this graduation ceremony today. This is a huge honor. My message to you all is about harnessing our collective knowledge and being prepared to deal with anything that comes our way. It is with so much pride that I address you all as we celebrate our determination and our commitment. Graduating in front of those important to us and who have supported us through our individual journeys of learning. Tertiary level education is no mean feat. It's a massive commitment with late nights, weekends of study and personal sacrifices. I took on the challenge to better myself and to explore opportunities after the military. Having experienced a devastating flood that destroyed our family home, multiple earthquakes and witnessing more severe weather events, I figured I could bring these experiences into university level qualifications and hopefully make a career of emergency management. I was naturally drawn toward the Massey University Joint Center for Disaster Research and the programs on offer. Not having a prior degree, I was afforded the opportunity um, to study in the Graduate Certificate in Emergency Management, followed by the Postgraduate Diploma, and now graduating in the Master of Emergency Management program. It's taken hard work, dedication, and an incredible amount of support from loved ones, colleagues, and friends. To my lovely wife, who had to do all the work around the home, and my wider whānau, including my two beautiful granddaughters, Hayley and Charlotte, who are here with us today. Thank you for all the support and encouragement over these years. It's really kept me going through some challenging times. To all our whānau and friends who are sharing this special celebration of achievement with us today, you represent the collective support system that allows knowledge and learning to flourish. Your support has been incredibly important because most of us graduating today had to adapt our learning when the global pandemic disrupted our lives so dramatically. These were uncertain times. Everything that we took for granted was flipped on its head. While adapting to a whole new normal, we still had papers to write and deadlines to meet. The way we did exams changed and the university had to rapidly adopt new techniques while ensuring student well-being and safety were at the forefront. Massey University's strength in online learning helped mitigate some of the disruptions. However, it was an incredibly challenging time that at times seemed like it would never end. And I commend everyone for your perseverance and your resilience. As a nation, we have many challenges that lie in front of us. Our environment is rapidly changing and adapting to human influences, resulting in more severe and frequent weather events. Our dependence on technology is changing the very fabric of society with rapid developments in AI technology and communications. As our reliance on technology increases, it seems our ability to manage without it decreases. The cost of living has increased dramatically, while the wealth gap has grown wider. These factors place increased pressure on budgets and require us to carefully prioritise our spending. But despite these challenges, we have all made the choice to take on more, to learn and to advance our knowledge, skills and to explore opportunities. We are Massey graduates and we now have an opportunity to use this gift of knowledge to make a difference. The Massey University Climate Action Plan speaks of kotahitanga, meaning solidarity and collective action, and kaitiakitanga, or environmental stewardship. The action plan values the need for collaboration and collective knowledge across natural sciences, social sciences, humanities, creative arts, and mataranga Māori to ensure the university itself can make the changes it needs to help ease the pressure we place on our planet. 
This approach of leveraging collective knowledge is appropriate when planning to deal with the potential consequences from our hazardscape. In my current role with the National Emergency Management Agency, I am privileged to lead a small team of dedicated and motivated emergency management professionals, developing plans to deal with worst case scenarios, defined as catastrophic. These have the potential to change our landscape and our way of life. And our approach to this wicked problem is to be curious, to look deeply into the problems and to take a vulnerable approach. This means acknowledging that we don't have all the solutions, but as a team, we will facilitate putting all the puzzle pieces together from across the wider system. This requires us to harness the collective system knowledge across academia, the scientific community, central government, and other key stakeholders, and to challenge those responsible for key deliverables to enhance our preparedness and our nation's capability to withstand severe shocks. New Zealand's hazardscape is one of the most complex and unpredictable in the world. Disasters can happen at any time, yet some of our communities remain largely unprepared or unaware of the risks. This is where we all play a part in lifting the resilience of Aotearoa New Zealand. The vast majority of graduates here will have touched on emergency management in some form or will play an important role within the wider system as you progress. So armed with your new knowledge across the breadth of academia, take a moment to consider how you can influence and guide your networks, your colleagues, families and friends to be prepared and to get ready. A challenge that I must acknowledge, however, is that the current economic climate makes it difficult to put resources into preparing for something that hasn't happened. Whilst there are immediate challenges in making ends meet, this is not easy. But disasters have very bad manners, and they don't wait for a convenient time to strike. I often reflect on my journey and how I became part of the emergency management community. It is through a combination of life experience, previous career exploits, and tertiary qualifications that have allowed this. Any one of, any one of these things on their own wasn't enough to realize the dream, but together, it's a glass ceiling. So I challenge you to utilize your gift of knowledge and to never stop learning. Be bold and courageous and use your skills and knowledge to make change. We can and we will make a difference. Be proud of what you have achieved. Take on opportunities to make change through our collective knowledge. And always remember that we will always be part of the Massey University Fano. My daughter would be disappointed if I didn't take this opportunity to roll out my fatherly words of wisdom every day is a school day. Bafio tikati mataranga. Fill the basket of knowledge. Matikimi kakiti. Matikiti kamahoa. Mata mahoa kamarama. Seek and discover. Discover and know. Know and become enlightened. Norere tenakoto. Tenakoto. Tenakoto katoa. Paul, well, thank you very much for your address, and on behalf of those of us who live in Hawke's Bay, thank you for your work that you've done and continue to do. We will now continue with the conferment of degrees and the awarding of university certificates and diplomas. I'd like to invite Professor Stephen Croucher, Head of School of Communication, Journalism and Marketing and Regional Director, who will now present graduates and recipients with certificates and diplomas in the College of Sciences and Massey Business School, and Professor Joe Cullinane, Deputy Pro Vice Chancellor, Massey Business School will hand out certificates. Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Agribusiness the graduate I'm about to name. 
Tarina Geddes. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the conjoint degree of Bachelor of Arts and Science, the graduate I'm about to name, Philippa Ann Minas. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Horticultural Science, the graduate I'm about to name, Tandia Molina. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Information Sciences, the graduates I'm about to name, Farah Mirza. Jamie Ann Woodell. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Science, the graduates I'm about to name, Robin Lee Howard. Stella Tam Nightingale. Samuel Joel Tweeddale. Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the postgraduate diploma in science and technology, the candidate I'm about to name. John Mackenzie O'Connell. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Environmental Management, the graduate I'm about to name, Hannah Marie Baker. Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Science, the graduates I'm about to name, Sonia Jane Russell, with distinction. <laughs> Lucy Charlotte Stevenson, with distinction. Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the Certificate in Business Studies the candidate I'm about to name, Deborah Grace George. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the Certificate in Financial Advice the candidate I'm about to name, Punam Purnima Shankar Gunder. Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the Diploma in Business Studies the candidates I'm about to name, Marie Louise Akins. <laughs> Jennifer Dawn Noble. <laughs> Lisa Ann Portis. Rochelle Carissa Taylor. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, 
I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Business, the graduands I'm about to name. Emma Barclay. Fiona Jennifer Brookbeck. Liddy Adelaida Rotea Brown. Danielle Judy Cornet, Massey Scholar. Anna Francis Drury. Tony Michaela Foster. Lorena Paula Ibarra Obelar, Massey Scholar. <laughs> Sylvia Isaac. <laughs> Ziotu McDonald. Rowan Salah Abdul Wahid Matrud. <laughs> Kiri Beth Ann McFarland. <laughs> Franca Menzies, Massey Scholar. James Campbell John Moody. Samantha Rose. Julia Rose Stevens. Renee Jade Williams. <laughs> Allison Teresa Yannikis. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Communication, the graduands I'm about to name. Rose Ella Barnett. <laughs> Ryan em Emeritus Basson. <laughs> Rihanna Rose Crawford. Ruby Claire Ellery. Rose Milana Garland. Madison Sandra Gorman, Massey Scholar. Zoe Ellen Goumet, Massey Scholar. <laughs> Michaela Kelly Rochelle Gower. <laughs> T. 
Tegan Ruth Jaggard. <laughs> Brett Peter Kerr Laurie. <laughs> Kai James Komene. Kirtana Jeanette Kumar. <laughs> Iri Hapeti Jean Kinemoa Moffat. <laughs> Caitlin Jane Francis Morel. Carice Jordan Musson. <laughs> Amelia Rose Neal. <laughs> Edie Jane Porter. Amber Jane Roydhaus Ross. Sarah Marie Royal. Anna Grace Sargent. Kate Josephine Shedden. <laughs> Sophie Middleditch Simpson. <laughs> Siobhan Lillian Vaccarino. Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Sport Management, the graduate I'm about to name. Charlene Pili Milos Taufu Gub. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the Graduate Diploma in Business Studies the candidates I'm about to name. Lan Liang. <laughs> Rebecca Ann Mitchell. <laughs> Sally Petra Shanahan. Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the postgraduate diploma in business and administration, the candidate I'm about to name, Maria Katrina Tali. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the postgraduate diploma in health service management, the candidates I'm about to name, Aditi Aurora. Charles Robert Smith, with distinction. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the postgraduate diploma in journalism, the candidate I'm about to name, Lucy Elizabeth Cooper, with distinction. Acting Chancellor, 
I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Executive Master of Business Administration, the graduates I'm about to name. Carol Joy Abraham, First Class Honors. Benjamin Peter Bleakley. Vicki Jan Coates. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Business Administration, the graduates I'm about to name. Ramiz Rushtan Khan. Bethany May Parlane, with distinction. <laughs> Bayarv Kumar Shankarlal Patel. <laughs> Jordan James Gibson Penney. Elizabeth Grace White, with distinction. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Business Studies, the graduate I'm about to name, Zhenzhu Shu. Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Health Service Management, the graduate I'm about to name, Anunit Kaur. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Management, the graduates I'm about to name, Enling Hu. Yuning Lu. Bridget Victoria Marston, with distinction. Eliza Bella Maxwell Stevens. Ellen Jade Twiss. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Professional Accountancy, the graduate I'm about to name, Ming Bao, with distinction. Acting Chancellor, the degrees are also conferred and the certificates and diplomas are also awarded to those who are in absentia. Thank you, Acting Chancellor. It's now my great pleasure to invite Brett Kerr Laurie to make the valedictory address on behalf of the students. Brett began studying a Bachelor of Communication in 2021, majoring in Expressive Arts. The following year, he swapped this major for journalism, realizing his true passion. In his final year, Brett worked for Massive Magazine, 
before taking up a journalism role at the press in November 2023. Please join me in welcoming Brett to the stage. Tēnā koutou, nā a tangata, o tēnī whakanui. Nā mehi ki a koutou, i a koutou mahoi a tanga, i a koutou manaki tanga, hoki i eni tau. I would like to thank Massey University's leaders and lecturers, receptionists and cleaners, and every other staff member whose long hours have ultimately led us to this final ceremony. I would like to extend this gratitude to friends and family whose words of encouragement or supportive silence have likewise aided in our journey's conclusion. Finally, I would like to thank ourselves, the students, for making it to this chapter's final pages. University is often remembered as the best time of your life by both those long graduated and fresh out of the system. A conversation centered on the uni with older individuals rarely concludes without tales of, tales of adventure and memories of laughter gone by. Although they are not wrong, I feel this perception of such a transformative time in our lives is inadequate. It amidst the struggle, the discomfort, and the tears. I have no doubt every one of us can recall afternoons soaking up the sun, exhilarating nights out with friends and some satisfactory grades. But I equally have no doubt each of us remembers stressful study, lonely walks and sleepless nights. If we pretend the past few years of our lives was a fairy tale of friendship and free time, if we deny the problems, pain and panic, we are lying to both the world and ourselves. In an age of incessant internet boasting, it's easy to feel inadequate. It's easy to believe you are flawed for feeling down, alien for experiencing negative emotion. This could not be further from the truth. Hurt is as equally human as happiness, and one has no meaning without the other. To be happy without ever hurting, is to be average. Simply ponder how hollow this day would feel had you wandered upon it with no struggles or challenges. In doing so, you will recognize its fulfillment comes from overcoming those struggles and challenges. So, as this chapter concludes and our lives continue thereafter, I implore us to remember our experiences, the good and especially the bad. University is a time of learning. Why then would you discard your most valuable lessons? Thank you. Brett, thank you very much for the valedictory address today. We're now going to proceed with the presentation of doctoral graduates, and I invite Acting Vice-Chancellor Professor Giselle Byrne to the stage. A doctorate, either a PhD or a professionally named doctorate, is the highest research degree awarded by the university. The successful completion of a doctorate represents a significant achievement. Through the submission of a sustained piece of research expressed in the production of a written thesis of no more than 100,000 words or a creative work of equivalent size and scope or via a series of publications, candidates are expected to make an original contribution to knowledge in a specific field of study. Candidates will typically spend three to four years of full-time research solving a problem or addressing a particular set of questions. An international panel of experts then examines the resulting body of work through both written and oral examination. Doctoral research is challenging and it represents a huge commitment to advancing research and scholarship. We honour the achievements of our doctoral graduates 
by inviting them to come onto the stage at the end of the ceremony, thereby formally welcoming them into the academic and scholarly community and acknowledging their entitlement to be called doctor. Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Doctor of Clinical Psychology, the graduands I'm about to name. Emma Jane Reynolds. Ms Reynolds investigated the long-term outcomes of gender-affirming hormone therapy for transgender and non-binary people, finding supported many positive outcomes across physical, emotional and social domains. Conclusions highlighted the importance of increased access to publicly funded gender-affirming care. This research also emphasised the importance of ongoing advocacy and support for transgender and non-binary people from wider society. Acting Chancellor, Dr. Reynolds. <laughs> Irene David Shemansky, doctoral scholar. Mr. Shemansky's mixed methods research explored understandings and explanations of suicidality with queer and takatāpui communities. These two theory-driven studies centred social factors that contribute to and resist against suicide, including discrimination, intersectionality, social support and norms. Findings demonstrate how suicidality is driven by social processes that marginalise identities and proposes clinical practices that support queer and takatāpui people. Acting Chancellor, Dr. Shemansky. <laughs> Acting Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Doctor of Philosophy the graduands I'm about to name. Rangika Nilani Hiwa El Jeridej. <laughs> Ms. El Jeridej explored how deep learning techniques can be used to integrate different modalities of data during disasters to support situation awareness among disaster responders while cross-validating social media data. The results demonstrated that integrating different data sources and modalities improves the performance and the accuracy of disaster event extraction compared to using social media data alone. Acting Chancellor, Dr. El Jiridej. Aja Ali. <laughs> Ms. Ali investigated non inflammatory mechanisms of asthma. She also assessed differential treatment responses to salbutamol and iprotrobrium bromide. Her research showed differences in specific aspects of neural regulation between asthmatics and non asthmatics. Although no differential response to treatment was observed between phenotypes, a small subgroup of asthmatics responded better to iprotropium bromide than salbutamol. These results have contributed to an improved understanding of the mechanisms underlying different asthma phenotypes. Acting Chancellor, Dr. Ali. Sa Won Hong, doctoral scholar. <laughs> Mr. Hong characterised six 
novel monoamine oxidise inhibitors identified in tobacco smoke and studied their interaction with monoamine oxidise enzymes. His findings provide a foundation from which to investigate the effects on tobacco dependence. These inhibitors may have pharmaceutical possibilities in smoking cessation or in the treatment of depression, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. Acting Chancellor, Dr Hong. Rakshit Nira Nula, Doctoral Scholar. <laughs> Mr. Prakshit examined the impact of six novel inhibitors on monoamine oxidase inhibition in brain cells. The components responsible for monoamine oxidase inhibitory property of cigarette smoke were previously unknown. The experimental results demonstrated that these novel inhibitors were the key contributors to the monoamine oxidase inhibitory property involved in cigarette smoke. Acting Chancellor, Dr. Narola. Vesina <laughs> Molima Polu. Ms. Pulu developed a culturally tailored framework known as the Fengna Ueki Whakataha model to address the health needs and disparities of Tongan people residing in Aotearoa, New Zealand. It goes beyond incorporating Tongan people's socio-cultural context into the design process to include fostering collaboration and shared responsibilities among the communities, stakeholders, funders, health researchers, and the system enablers. Acting Chancellor, Dr. Pulu. <laughs> Phoebe Anna Tapteklis. Ms. Tapteklis researched the relationship between indoor dampness, mould, and framing moisture with house characteristics and condition. The results demonstrated an independent association between the conditions of the building envelope and indoor dampness, which was consistent across three iterations of the New Zealand House Conditions Survey. Acting Chancellor, Dr. Tapteklis. Liping Xu Li Xu. <laughs> Ms. Xu investigated Chinese tertiary graduates' post study transition in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Her research found that visa constraints, recruiter bias, and stereotypes and exploitation by co national employers were common barriers. Female graduates experienced more difficulties, but demonstrated higher adaptability to local workplaces. The unmet expectations pushed some to either return to their home country or migrate to a different country. Acting Chancellor, Dr. Xu. Thank you, Acting Chancellor. Would all our graduates please stand? He honore nui te whakatawātu i a koutou he rūkura o te kūninga ki pūrihurua. It is my great honour to welcome you as alumni of Massey University. The award of a university degree carries many privileges but like all privileges, it also carries responsibilities. I charge you, as graduates of Massey University, to use what you have learnt 
for your own betterment and for the benefit of the community. I charge you to use the skills and the knowledge you have acquired with rigour and integrity and to commit yourselves to a programme of lifelong learning and discovery. I charge you to remember the lessons Massey University has taught you about the worth of others, particularly those who have not had the opportunities you have had. I charge you to set goals and to continue the hard work that has brought you so far. And in all that you do, I charge you to be deserving of the good name of Massey University. Congratulations. Graduates, remain standing, please. Thank you. Tēnā tātou te whare. Congratulations uh, once more to all of your graduates today. At the conclusion of the ceremony, guests are requested to remain in their seats until the processions have left the auditorium, but please join us in the arena foyer for refreshments. I declare the congregation to be adjourned. If I could please ask everybody to stand and join with us in singing the national anthem, God Defend New Zealand.